It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to turn off the conversation view in Gmail. So, in the really cool web app of Gmail that you can use online, and it's really cool and has a whole lot of features, there's a special feature that's the conversation view, where if you reply to an email someone sent you, or someone replies to an email you sent them, then it sort of groups it into one message in the inbox, and it groups it together so you can see it easily. And it can be really useful, but sometimes you can find it really confusing and annoying, so you may want to turn it off and just have it so that every time an email comes in, it just comes in as its own little email, and then you can click on it like that, and it's much more simpler. So if you want to do that in this episode, Timmy's going to show you so how. So in your Gmail inbox, as you can see here, Timmy has sent an email to someone and received a reply, and it's come up with this little two here. So if you click on that email and go into it, you'll notice here is the email that Timmy sent, and then here is the reply. So it appears in little windows like this. And if you click on these three dots, then the part that's the part that is up here is also down here so it can become very confusing because gmail's trying to make it simpler by getting rid of that part because that's not that's a part that's already up here so they try to make it simpler but you can find this pretty confusing so if you wanted to turn it off and make it be different you come up to the right top right hand corner and click on the cog icon then in the drop down menu, go down and click on settings. And then in settings, just under general, not in any of these, just under general, go scroll down to conversation view here. And it's selected conversation view on, but you can select conversation view off. And then just scroll down to the very bottom and click save changes. And then it goes out of the Gmail, and it lo loads back into it. Okay, so now you can see in the inbox here, it doesn't have that one in brackets, and it says re there. So if you click on this email now, you'll see it's, it's, on, it's only this thread. So you see the reply, and then down here is the original email that you sent just like it would be in most email programs. So that makes it a lot simpler, and it can be less confusing this way. So that's how it's done, and that'll be the end of this episode of Tech Time with Timmy. Bye!